The beauty of the table method for the unit conversion questions is it really doesn't matter where we start because basically all we're doing is multiplication and division, which the order for multiplication doesn't matter. So there's a lot of different things that we could do to start with this question. We actually have three different paths we can take. We want to find a rate so we can write two units on, on opposite sides of the table. So here's one. One furlong is 220 yards. Here's another. One yard is three feet. And the final one is up here. 61 furlongs is equivalent to how many feet? So I really do not care which one you start with. It's not going to matter. I'm going to just kind of work my way down because why not? So 61 furlongs is how many feet? You got to be able to recognize when they're giving you an X. So X feet. Now let's continue. Well, one furlong is 220 yards. Now I want to write that as the next line, but remember I have to flip it so that the, the units cancel each other out on opposite sides of the table. So one furlong is actually going to go on the right side, and then I'm going to switch 220 to over here. And that's because we need to cross them out. So now we can cross out furlongs because there's a furlong on each side. So we don't cross out the number, we only cross out the, the word. Then we have one yard is three feet. And there you go. Yards are gone. Yards are gone. Feet are gone. Feet are gone. Now we're done. Multiply down. And there you go. So 61 times 220 times 3. Regular calculator. 61 times 220 times 3 is 40260. And x times 1 times 1 is x. So this one has no extra step. Sometimes we do have to divide. This one didn't have it. So 40,000. You don't actually enter the, the, um, the comma, so let me get rid of that, uh, 40,260. That is our answer. Um, that's it. That's, we're done. Now, yes, some of you understand kind of intuitively that we are multiplying as we go, but the SAT is good at then asking another version of this question where one of the steps is a division step, and, and your brain could make a mistake. And, and that's where we get wrong answers a lot of times on these questions. We multiply when we're supposed to divide. We divide when we're supposed to multiply. It, it just gets jumbled. So this table takes care of all of that. You don't need to think about whether it's a multiplication step or a division step. You just put them all on the table. The table solves it for you. And all the stuff gets done at the end in the exact right way. So trust the table. Maybe it's worth, a, it takes a little bit more time, but if it saves more points, it's worth it.